In this video I'm going to show you a super cool new feature within CF Spark to create 4K AI designs which have a transparent background, meaning it makes it super easy to use these files for your print on demand business. If you follow the link at the top of the description, it will bring you straight to Creative Fabrica. And if you follow this menu header right here that says Spark, you're going to get various different options of how to proceed. Now, the newly added features right here are to create transparent PNGs, then create sketches, which is a super cool feature as well, and create image mixes. So we're going to get started with create transparent PNGs. And if you open this up, you're going to see as well that you can right here in the top left, change to the different versions of Sea of Spark. So I already showed off art and patterns in another video, but now the new versions are crystalline, image mix and sketch. Crystalline is uh, kind of this sort of style where you've got uh, very vibrant, colorful graphics. And as you can see, if we hover over these, the background actually disappears, which uh, actually is so, so handy and unique because you can download these and use them straight away without having to, uh, well, mess around with deleting the background. So uh, you might wonder what do I type in right here to get a nice result like these sort of tree graphics or the mountain graphics. Now what I usually do is I would head to Spark up here and then go all the way down to Browse Transparent PNGs because then you will see what the community has been putting out and you'll get some really nice results that way. So here are a few examples of what people have created recently and if you hover over these sometimes the prompt will be hidden but other times like with this really nice looking sloth graphic right here the prompt will actually be visible. So you can click on this little button right there to quickly open this same prompt in CF Crystalline and then you can take a look at this prompt, study it, you can use various different parts of it for your own prompts or you could modify this prompt in here. For example, display a different animal. Um, let's go ahead and do a wolf for example. Intricate beautiful wolf with colorful mane and a Barbie style intricately rendered in the style of Lisa Frank. So uh, there's loads and loads of descriptive words here that uh, we don't necessarily need to change. Obviously you can go through and and change certain things like if we don't want your wolf to look like a Barbie then we can take that out um, you just have to look through this make sure it applies to the graphic that you want to create and then you can hit ignite over here on the right hand side as soon as you're ready and CF Spark Crystalline actually creates eight images at a time which is really cool um, I'm going to hit that another time so we get a total of 16 right here to look at it does take a little while to generate these because it's quite a lot to do in one go but if you have a uh, CF Spark subscription then then these get generated more quickly. You sort of jump to the top of the queue um, if you have a subscription. Um, if you're using the free version, uh, which you can even do with a free trial, I'm pretty sure, to create a Fabrica, then it might take a little longer to generate these. But as you can see right there, there's some really, really cool results and definitely some usable ones in here. Not all of them are necessarily perfect, but some have got a, a lot of potential in my opinion. So let's say, for example, we really like this one on the right. What you can do then is you can click this button right here that says create variations in image mix and if we click this it is going to open up the uh, other new version of CS Spark image mix and in here if we click generate now it's going to use this image as a sample and generate once again lots of variations in this case you even get 12 which is really cool and you can also right here change the image you can upload an image to this you don't have to use a pre-made one from CF Spark or you can enter an image URL so in theory any sort of royalty free image on the internet you could paste an image URL into this and generate variations of that image and as you can see here is a a lot of variations of that initial graphic some of them might be usable as well I do actually think the original looked the best but it is definitely always worth going in here and um, yesterday I was, I was going through some pineapple graphics and I actually got a lot of better variations than the original image that I created with CF Spark so that's it for the uh, image mix function now we're going to move on to CF Spark sketch which is actually my favorite um, it has got it's got a really cool style and it's also really usable for t-shirt designs if you know know how to to use these graphics which I'm also going to show you afterwards in Photoshop um, you could also do this in Photopea the sort of post uh, CF Spark process but let's begin right here by just typing in something simple like a, a dog breed let's go with French Bulldog if we hit ignite it's going to do eight images right here so not as many as in the other new features so we just hit this a few times right here and these uh, the sketch images always turn out in a very sort of 
well, sketched version, like a, a drawing, a human drawing, which is a really cool style. And I've also found that that can work really well for t-shirt designs. Once again, if you don't know how to find inspiration for your prompts here, you can also head to Spark and then browse sketches down here to see what other people have come up with and to get some inspiration for your prompts. So here we've got some different results. These ones at the top are quite light. And at the bottom, we've got some darker versions of a French Bulldog, definitely some cool variations. I think the one I'm going to use as an example for this tutorial to move further is this one right here that almost looks a bit like a puppy French Bulldog. So if you want to use one of these files that you've created, all you have to do is hit publish and then it's going to publish this to Creator Fabrica and um, other people can see it as well. And once this is done publishing, we can then download it from Creator Fabrica and use it commercially um, if you have a Creator Fabrica subscription. So here we go, it's done publishing, hit open once that's done and then you can click download right here on the right hand side. Right, so here we go. I've gone ahead and opened this file up in Photoshop. As you can see, it has got a transparent background. Very, very cool. And now you can use this a few different ways for print on demand. Obviously, you could use it as it is, maybe for a sticker or just make it like a big print on a t-shirt. People would definitely like that. Also, one option is you could use a vintage sunset. If I just enable the background right here. This one is from one of my vintage sunset graphics bundles, which is also linked in the description. And you could literally just use the sunset in the background, put the graphics graphic of the dog in front of it and that way you've got a bit more of a t-shirt design looking style um, that is one option you've got obviously there's tons and tons of options I just want to give you some ideas and um, another way that I've found to use these graphics which is really cool is you could once again have them quite big on your shirt but you could add some color to it in a very very neat and unique way so what I found is if you go to the bottom right in your layers panel and click on this little symbol right here you can then click on gradient map and now we get this thing in our layers panel, the gradient map, and we can apply it to just our dog by holding down Alt on, a, on the keyboard, and you'll get this symbol right here when you're in between two layers. So hold down Alt, go in between the dog layer and the gradient map, and then left click. And as you can see, it is now applying, as this arrow indicates, it's applying the gradient map just to our dog graphic. Now, what do we do with this? At the moment, it looks very, very strange. But if we go into uh, the settings of the gradient map, which you can do, it's hidden behind my face, hang on, I'll just hide that, which you can do by clicking onto this right here. It's in the properties panel. If you don't see the properties panel, it should be right here in window and properties. So locate that and then click onto this color scheme right here. And that's going to open up the gradient editor. Now with the gradient editor, you can either go in here and just customize this however you want, or you can use a preset to get started. So there's tons and tons of options right here in terms of different color schemes or gradients. We've got blues, we've got purples. Um, let's say you want to try one of these, I'll just click on them, preview them. And uh, one that can work quite well is this one right here I found. Uh, at the moment, it still looks a bit strange, but we're going to fix that. Uh, so first of all, if we hit OK on this, we can inverse or reverse the gradient, which will already make this better. Once again, that's in the properties panel. I'm just going to pull it out so you can reverse and dither is also a good option that makes it more smooth. And if we go back into these settings, now it's still a bit hard to make out our actual dog drawing. And the reason that is, is because there's not enough contrast between these colors at the, at the far ends. So this orange is just not enough contrast to this purple in terms of the brightness. So now I'm going to turn down the brightness of this purple. As you can see, that already made it a lot easier to see what's going on. And same thing over here, I'm going to turn this up and make it lighter. And that's created a really, really nice color effect. You can play around obviously with all of these individual colors and see how it looks best to your liking. Um, but I think that gets you a bit of an idea of how to color these drawings in, in a very cool way and uh, make them a, a unique t-shirt design graphic. Um, so so yeah, have fun playing around with that. There's tons and tons of presets here that you can apply, test out, and then modify further. So yeah, I hope you have fun with that. And obviously once you're done with that, then export this as a PNG, make sure that you disable the background color right here, and then you can place this or upload this file to various different print and demand websites like Breadbubble, TeePublic, Merch by Amazon, and use these, um, put them up for sale to hopefully make some passive income. Thank you very much for watching and make sure to check out this video next if you want to learn some more ways to use CF Spark for t-shirt design.